Since September, the median home price in Las Vegas has reached $300,000. Yeah, but how much do you need to make uh, to be able to afford actually buying a home at that price? That's the big question. And for today's Morning Original, 13 Action News reporter Nina Porshankula spoke with experts to try and find out. Until hitting a plateau in recent months, local home prices had generally been going up since 2012. And with the current median home price of $300,000, Thomas Blanchard, the president of the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors, says we are inching closer to an all-time peak. Sellers can sell their homes for more than what they paid for them, and buyers have uh, amounts of property to be able to purchase. That's because we currently have a four-month supply of homes in the market. But if you're making as much as an average Las Vegas resident, would you be able to afford a $300,000 home? Let's take a look at some numbers. We tried to make it as simple as possible. So for that price, buyers trying to get an FHA loan would have to put down at least $10,500. According to the Las Vegas Global Economic Alliance, the average household income of a Valley resident is close to $73,000. In an ideal situation with a monthly take-home income of close to $5,000, you can afford the monthly payments of over $2,100 a month for your new New income, leaving you with $2,900 to spend a month. But when you factor in your monthly expenses like utilities, groceries, travel, and others, well, you're going to barely make ends meet. This is a simplified explanation and does not put into consideration things like credit score, which could have a huge impact on whether or not you can afford a home. Bottom line? Regardless if you're someone that really can buy a $200,000 home or a $500,000 home, it's just okay if you can afford it and can get lending for it. And there are a lot of mm. other factors that could impact your ability to buy a home that we didn't put in there. So that's just like an ideal situation. If you're married, if you have more than one source of income, if you have kids, right. how much you're spending on their child care and school mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So. $300,000 is a lot of money for a house, unless you're moving here from California. Right. In which case, it's cheap. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, thanks. thanks.